It's been a dark, dreary, and rainy day here in Durham. This is a short kick. Duke will field it at the 30, and it is John Tavis Robertson. That was ultimately the difference in the game. Jordan Waters to his left. Waters with the first carry to the right side. A stiff arm still up. Take it on, Lafayette to midfield. They have been able to protect Riley Leonard and create running lanes. Leonard was not sacked last week. That's a quick strike to the speedster, Samir Hagens. Moore with the carry. And it's easy yardage, first down for Duke. Here comes the pressure. Leonard sees it and hits Jalen Calhoun. The go-to target gets Duke on the board, 16 yards. And we talked about the ability of Riley Leonard being able to throw the ball, but great protection here. Look at the blitz pickup. And when you have a guy that can run a route and he knows he has no one on the inside, Jalen Calhoun is able to run that post and get an easy six. First passing touchdown of the season for Riley Leonard. Moore will follow. Todd Polino with the extra point. Brilliant in the red zone. Blocked a field goal and had two turnovers. To Noble with the move in the open field. He was able to shake Dorian Mahusi. Play clock winding down. This is the approach Lafayette wants to take. Curtis, patient, open field, and that's going to be good for the first down, Jamar Curtis. Watch here, you have those guys pulling in front of you, and they're able to make some more. John Olmstead is one, and he just gets behind him. He and Reed Collins, and just holds on, and then breaks the left tackle, now playing offensive line, one of their better ones. Mason Gilbert in motion to Noble will throw, and that's Carl Smith with his first catch of the season. Third and nine for Dean DeNoble and the Leopards. We'll go to Curtis. Curtis so patient, gets away from Williams, but is tracked down by Trey Freeman, who's coming off a career best performance with 11 tackles against Clemson. To Noble, he finds Elijah Stewart, and Stewart moves the chains, first down Lafayette. In these areas. A second and three for De Noble and Curtis. Curtis with the carry. Curtis reversing fields and is brought down by Wesley Williams. Talking about the defensive front. That's the wall of blue right there. You can see they just hold everything up. Really nice job. To Noble looking for the end zone. He's got it. No. Broken up at the last second. It was intended for the 6 8 tight end, Mason Gilbert. 4 15 left to go here. In the opening quarter, bullet pass, end zone. Chris Carasio, a catch he will remember forever. That was a strike, low. That was a great throw by the Noble and an even better catch by Carasio. You have protection, trips, formation. He has Miles Jones in coverage. And look at the throw, that sidearm quick flick for six. Dean DeNoble, scout team quarterback a year ago, comes out and in his first start, engineers a 75-yard touchdown drive that took up. John Tavis Robertson in motion. And it's going to be Waters with the carry, very patient, then showing the burst. Fumble! The ball is ripped out! Gabe Du Bois took it away! Gabe Du Bois just actually went and took the ball away from Jordan Waters. But they were able to make a play. Watch Gabe, what, 20? He's inside, and then Gabe Du Bois just goes in and takes the ball away from him. Wow! That's the kind of plays you need if you're Lafayette. Slow it down. They come out of the huddle quickly. DeNoble will run. DeNoble's got a block. He's going to be a couple yards shy before he is brought down. Got a flag on the play. Levis thought he had a tackle for loss. Let's sort this one out. See this a lot with Levis and Schaefer and Forney shooting those 
gaps when they see openings to try to get the back in the Personal backfield. Personal foul. Illegal use of the hands to the face defense. Number 97. 15 yard penalty automatic. First down. Second and 13. Riley Leonard looking for some rhythm. And that throw on time. On rhythm. Two Higgins. Dalmolin in motion. And that is going to be a first down carry for Jaquez Moore. Junior out of the state of Florida for this Duke program. Calhoun in motion. Moore with the carry. Good hole up the middle. First down for Sekou White. Brings him down. Jordan Waters gets the carry. He had the fumble earlier. Dancing, weaving through Lafayette's defense inside the 10. Clemson, but look at this offensive line now. Now they're rolling. Look at those guys. Graham Barton out there. You got Big 70. Scott Elliott also there making a really nice lane. Look at him. Very good patience right there by Jordan Waters, who fumbled earlier. Waters. Met in a hurry by Jalen Joseph. Pyle keeps moving forward, and that is a touchdown. That's getting those big nasties behind you and driving you to the pay dirt. Push. Look at that blue wall right there. Just no penetration, and then he just knifes in there hard against Jalen Joseph, and then the pile comes, and look at Monk, 63. Baby, with touchdown. Woo! You gotta love it, man. Polino comes on for the extra point, and Duke... As Lafayette won their opener against Sacred Heart. Now this is Jermaine Conyers up and over. <laughs> oh, Why are they finding these guys? Also, Duke will do this. They go inside, RJ Oban. And when he sees that, he says, okay, I wore 40 last week, but this week I got my number back, and I'm going to high point you. Jalen Stinson is only 5'8". Elko hired him at Hofstra and Bowling Green before he went back to a career on the offensive side of the football. The Noble, a laser shot. And the big tight end, Mason Gilbert, hauls That's it in for the first down. Right. The Noble feeling the pressure. Great find to Gilbert again. He felt the blitz from Duke and knew where to go with the football. Down territory for the Leopards. De Noble will move the pocket throw on the run. And that is going to be close with Stewart. And those are the guys they like to run behind in this formation. Duke moves with them. Conyers going up, and it's going to be close. It's right at the marker. Lafayette offensive line is saying move the chains. Duke is saying we get the football. Peyton Jones, talented freshman in the backfield. Riley Leonard, plenty of time. He's got Jalen Calhoun for the first down. And Calhoun. Jones. And it's going to be close. Tackle made by Tristan Roundtree. For one yard rushing. Lafayette called the timeout to figure out their defense. Waters upended. He's going to be short. Now, the, where they're running in with the spot, they're saying that he got the first down, but from the next... 317 left to go here in the first half. Duke up by seven. Leonard, the deep drop back. Steps up, lets it fly, looking for Jordan Moore. Some contact. Here comes the flag. As he was just in the medical tent. Leonard on the button. That is Jordan Moore, who Leonard beat out. Back to Waters, trying to break the tackle, and he does. House call for Jordan Waters. You're effective right in that area where you're going to see between the guard and center. And Jordan Water no, Waters knows 97 it. rushing yards as the extra point is up and good. Duke leads 21 to 7. Good work for the right to rush the passer. Oban has worked for that right. But it will go to Curtis. And Curtis tracked down by Trey Freeman, breaks free and finds the sideline. That's exactly what Lafayette needed. The entire D1 level, that's FCS, FBS. Empty for DeNoble. DeNoble is pressured. DeNoble will throw on the run, coming back and making the completion to Elijah Stewart. Now Lafayette will rush up to the line. They've got one timeout remaining. DeNoble on this other pass, moving and then Stewart says, okay, he tells him where to go and gets the ball right to him. Chandler Rivers. 
17 yards on the pickup for DeNoble. Pressured, and he's going to be brought down. Brandon Johnson, the leader of the secondary, playing closer to the line, gets this stop. Coverage, and then right here, again, you bring, you walk that safety up to the line, you make sure you have effective numbers. He comes up. Look at Brandon 39 Johnson right there again. seconds left for Lafayette. Out of timeouts to Noble, throwing to a one-on-one, -on -one. picked off, Miles Jones, he ripped it away, and Duke with the INT, the former Texas A&M Aggie, coming up big. Defensive back, who's played a lot of football, you see the edge rusher there, he gets rid of the football, and look at this, great job of just taking the ball away. And Jones comes up big there. 30 seconds, three timeouts for Riley Leonard. They are going for it. Dalmolin has to make the adjustment on a ball thrown behind him. He does. Under two minutes, the clock will stop while they reset the chains. Three points here. He's right here. You see him. And then he's going to just run down the field and find that open area on the, the linebacker who initially I pointed out to. Leonard will throw backside pressure. Here he goes, open field, makes one man miss, but then is brought down by Philip Pfeiffer. It is going to be a journey for this team to reach that 10 win milestone. Leonard completes over the middle to Higgins. Hurry up mode. And when they make a defensive stop, whether it be on fourth down or the interception, they have come back strong offensively. Leonard fuels it. Then he's got more to the 10-yard line, out of bounds with four seconds left. Coming out of the backfield, you know he's there. He adjusts to you, and you hold the ball just long enough. You get out of bounds, you go kick the field goal by Miles Jones. And here is Polino, 29 yards, no good. Wow. All that work, and you come up with nothing for the touchdown. Well, that is Curtis, nowhere to go. Met immediately by Vincent Anthony Jr., the sophomore from right here. Number 19 coming hard, goes down, penetrates, and just right there. That's where your eyes get big underneath the, the awning so they can stay protected. It's Duke and Lafayette. These are two great academic universities. Dean DeNoble converting and getting more before finally he's brought down by Chandler Rivers after a third and 11 leads to a huge game. Do this. This is a great job here. Good blocking up front. Look at all of that open space and Stinson with the bad angle and then he just makes the rest. Third and nine, DeNoble. Pressure up the middle and brought down by Ryan Smith. Last year's special teams player of the year, now becoming a force on defense. He's able to get outside, watch 40. Nice job with his hands, and then he gets off and is able to corral the noble. Sometimes you get outflanked, but he does a really nice job of redirecting. And some of that special teams game, it has to be dire straits. I think they're going to run this football as effectively as they can. And that's what they're doing. Waters running through a tackle, giving the first down as Waters keeps churning. Heavy toes to the ground game for Duke all night. And that is the first incompletion of the night for Leonard. There is a flag late. Back at the 27-yard line. And Riley Leonard is holding his, his arm a little awkwardly. I think he got hit late. Personal foul, leaping. Defense number 26. It's a 15 at a first down. The incompletion does not count. So Leonard is 12 for 12. Showing some moves, gets past 40, and that is first down yardage. Leonard, he's working his way deeper into the conversation, and it's early of the guys that could be an ACC Offensive Player of the Year. Yeah, he is. He just, he's so effective. Made Clemson miss five tackles on him. He's done that today. He's just consistent in how he plays this game of football and his passing skills have gotten even better than over last year.
Little delay handoff to Moore. Full had his team trying to stay upright. And Jaquez Moore give him six. And watch here. Riley Leonard gives it to him. He says, okay, give me the ball, man, so I can show these guys what I've been waiting to do as a freshman to go to the house. Out according to his offensive coordinator, Kevin Johns, three rushing touchdowns now tonight for the Duke running back. That's a very tough balance to strike in this day and age. To Noble, really nice speed option keep for the first down. Uh, adults, as adults, we want to understand the why. We just didn't challenge it as much as they do now. And we don't have the information and the resources available. As Cam Dillon comes back strong. And the Peebles is also in there with a tackle for loss. And he's learned that nitty-gritty style, but also got a taste of the Southeastern Conference as well, as this is Adams that is brought down in a hurry by Leon Griffin and Terry Moore. Hey, I'm going to embrace the basketball school. It doesn't matter. We're going to get guys here because they love to play football. Third and 18 draw to Adams. Adams shakes out of a tackle from Dillon. Will not be able to outrun Brandon Johnson there. And this will set off a Lafayette punt. Hornibrook coming yeah. from Stanford. Yeah. Guys that understand, hey, it's going to be a grind, but you're going to have a good time playing football and possibly winning. Calhoun slips through one tackle and then is body slammed by Narayan Brown. Second and one when we get to see the big arm on display. Here we go. Beeland stepping up, shaking, and throwing to an open receiver. And that is Jordan Moore, the former quarterback trying to stay up. He's inside the five. This here is not the throw. Watch him get outside and just make, use his legs to get around and find time to get the ball down the field to Jordan Moore, who has become a really nice receiver. But watch it at the turf monster. Oh, get the feet up. And he just might have tripped over. Second and goal. Balin under center. He's going to keep it. Gets the push. And for the second time, Duke gets the push at the goal line to send the ball carrier in the paint. Balin into the end zone for the first time in his college career. I tell you, when I watched him in warm-ups, I was really impressed. With it's 213 off the clock. Extra point up and is good. More often, no matter what level, if you don't have a strong strength and conditioning staff, you're not going to have a strong football team. Sideline picked. Joshua Pickett coming up with the interception. Ball higher and further and not able to really do it effectively on that particular play, but Pickett ran the route. I say it again. He's got through two games so far for Duke. Beelan. Back to work, back to the go-to guy. Jordan Moore to the 30. Stay hot. You've got to be physical in the run game as a receiver. Beelan, clean pocket, low throw, complete to Robertson. Glendo here with Charles Arbuckle. First snap of the fourth quarter. Henry Beelan directing the Duke offense, led him to a touchdown in his first drive. And that is Peyton Jones with the carry. I'm looking forward to watching them compete in that league. I mean, credit Duke for just waking up and making plays like that. The first passing touchdown for Henry Beelan as he connects with Jordan Moore for the touchdown. In these games, you want to see your young guys get an opportunity to play. And we're seeing Henry Beelan and Jordan Moore hook up. But you also understand, you know, Peyton Jones getting the chance to get in there and pass pro in real live time. I think that's the opportunities you give these young guys that haven't played a whole lot of football a chance to play at this level. Extra point on the way from Todd Polino. Up and good. And I'm sure he'll remember that as much as a World Series win because that is what you do if you go to Lafayette for football, you, you try to beat Lehigh. That's the game. That makes a difference. And your secondary now is totally different. And they have so many guys that can beat you. Arm strength on a rope right there to Jake Taylor. A redshirt freshman tight end. He comes up with his first career catch. But you got to figure out how do I just win one game? How do I win one play to set up for that next game? Beelin on a third and 10, first down. And that is Malik Bowen Sims. Step down at Stanford. This very similar prospect of how they're going after players. 
but sustaining them, right? That's, That's exactly the key. They're finding guys in the Ivy League that can ball. These mm -hmm. dudes can play. <laughs> Fourth and one. Elon's going to give it to Peyton Jones, and that's a first down to keep this clock going. Second and one. Boyd slips through one tackle and is able to get the first down. Jalen Joseph thought he had him. Grayson Loftus, true freshman quarterback from Gaffney, South Carolina, enters the game. Boyd was able to get back close to the line of scrimmage, the experience, but also going back to the way John Troxel put it, we want to make sure Duke knows that we were here, and I think they have accomplished that. That Duke has to get into your schedule in the Patriot League. So you want to make sure your guys compete hard, but they come away and don't have injuries. Boyd with the carry on fourth and 11, and this will be a turnover on downs. Lowell Galindo here with Charles Arbuckle. Final minute of action in Durham. And this is Troy Bruce bouncing to the outside, trying to finish strong for the Leopards' first down carry. And Duke will move to 2-0 on the season with two wins in one week. 42-7 the final over Lafayette.